me in my favor. Hallelujah, in your favor. There's a shifting in my direction. Hallelujah. Do you feel that there's a shifting even in your direction? Oh God. 
God, right where they are, oh God. We talk, oh God, and we speak, oh God. And we come together, oh God, as the body of Christ, oh God. Knit together, oh God. Standing in faith, oh God. For lost souls everywhere, oh God. We send the word, oh God, of salvation, oh God.
coach to, to go about this field of the power of God in my yes. spirit this morning. Amen. amen. To deliver, amen, what he has placed in me to say unto his church. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Father God, we just want to thank you this morning. Father God, we just want to thank you for our last night laying down our early yes. rise. Yes. Father God, I just want to thank you for protecting us, Lord God, while we slumbered and slept. And touched yes. us with the thing of love. But thank Father God, God, we realized we didn't wake ourselves up, Lord God, but it was mm -hmm. your touch, oh God, that yes. woke us up, Lord God, closing our right minds, full use and activity of our lands, Lord God, with the determination to come out to your house, Lord God, yes. to lift you up and to give you the glory oh, that's through your name. Glory. And Father God, while we have assembled ourselves here, oh yes. God, Father God, we that you just have your way, Lord oh, God, in oh, every heart and every spirit. God. Yes. Father God, deliver us, Lord God, from the things we need to deliver us, from strengthen us, Lord God, where we need, Lord God. For your word declares you know every need, Lord God, that we need, Lord God. Meet yes, every need God. this morning, Lord God. Let your people come before you with expectations, Lord God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Let the Lord, let, let your people come before you, Lord God, with reverence and awe, Lord yes. God. That's do your name, Lord God. Have your way in yeah, this place, O oh God. God. Have your way in me, O oh God. Yes. Lord God, Lord, these lips yes. of clay, Lord God, and help me to release what you have placed in my spirit to say unto the church. For this is your church, Lord yes. God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, and have your way. Have your in way, Jesus' Lord name God. we do pray. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. I will be coming from the book of Hebrews. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've been going back and forth within my spirit mm. of what to say unto God's people. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And my spirit keeps leading me back to this scripture. Mm. Hallelujah. Hebrews, the 12th chapter. Amen. Starting at the 25th verse. Yes. Hebrews, the 12th chapter, starting at verse 25. Amen. See to it that you do not refuse him who speaks. If they did not escape when they refused him who warned them on earth, how much less will we if we turn away from him who warns us from heaven? At that time, his voice shook the earth. But now he has promised. Once more, I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. The words once more indicate the removing of what can be shaped, uh -huh. that is, created things, so that what cannot be shaken mm. may remain. My Lord Jesus. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom mm. that cannot be shaken, mm. let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. Yes. For our God is a Consuming fire. Yes, Amen. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See to it that you do not refuse him who speaks. My Lord. Hallelujah. As we look around today, in the world situation as it is today. With the pandemic, yes, Lord. with the government, with the world, mm. and even the church. In the church, we see a great falling away. The Bible already spoke of that. In the last days, there will be a great falling away from the house of God. For the word declares, men will be lovers of themselves more than God. In the government, we see an upheaval of the government. Uncertainty. In the world, we see opinions All right. on everything. Mm -hmm. Everything has a voice. Everything and everyone has an opinion. Mm -hmm. Everything that we might have put our faith in 
our jobs, our status, our bank accounts, our influence, all has been shaken in these last year and a half or so. All right. And if we just don't look at things with our natural eyes, but look through our spiritual eyes, there's a shaking going on. Yes, it is. God is shaking everything that we have put our trust in. All right. For God realized that we have fallen away from him. God has realized enough is enough. Amen. God has realized that we have started worshiping man more than him. We have elevated man more than him. We reverence man more than him. But we must realize when he took the children out of Egypt, he said that they may worship me. even in the wilderness. Right. He took them out of bondage so they could worship me. Over in Exodus, it was mentioned about four or five times that they may worship me. All right. That's why he took them out of bondage and set them free. Not so much for them to do their own thing, but so they may freely worship me. Come on. We were created to worship yes, we him. We were created in his image and likeness to worship him. Yes. All right. But as we look around today, we have gotten so far away my God, my God. from what he has created all of us to do. It's not to do our own thing. It's not to go before him for presence like he's a Santa Claus. To meet our needs, but we show him no reverence. We show him no respect. We don't go to him much of the time because until we need something. Other than that, we put him in a trunk like a spare tire. As long as everything is going well with me, Lord, I'll get with you later. Yeah. All right. My cup is so full and I have two or three pennies in the bank and, and my family is doing well and my job is doing well. So I don't have time to go to church. I don't have time. Uh, Sunday is it, 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 my day of rest for my labors. I've worked so hard all weekend, and I did what I wanted to do on Saturday, but this Sunday morning, I'm just going to stay home today. Bring the word. Bring the word. But God, I love you. God, I know of you. God, I, I love you, but, but, but today I'm just going to stay home and rest. God has blessed us with uh, abilities to, to go forth and do things that he has blessed us with because it's him that gives us the abilities to do it. That's it. Uh, when we didn't have a car, we say, Lord, if you bless me with a car, all right, all right. I use it for your glory. Uh, yes. But now that he has blessed you with the vehicle, now you stay home on Sundays to wash the vehicle. When you was jobless, say, Lord, if you bless me with a job, I'll serve you. Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead, Pastor. So he blessed you with a job, but now I'm tired from working, so no, I'm going to stay home now. Uh -huh. I'm tired from my job that you blessed me with. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, when you got a bad report from the doctor. Oh, how we go before him in prayer and we, and we beg and plead, Lord, will you heal me? Lord, will you heal my spouse? Lord, will you heal my child? But when he brings a blessing, when he brings a healing for him, oh, thank you, God, but now I got to go do my own thing. All right, all right. Our children may be in trouble by their own children. Lord, heal, uh, watch over my child and, and protect my child. And, 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 and we go before him with prayer and we just, 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 just burn him down it don't help my child. Yes, yes. But then once he delivers the child, then we don't go before him anymore. My God, my God. Yeah, we as a people of God have to stop treating God like a Santa Claus. All right, all right. We got as a people of God, we got to treat, stop treating God like because he just to do our begging and our pleading. He has to work on our behalf without us doing something for him. 
without us crucifying the flesh and letting the spirit take over. Uh, we when we come into the house of God is still about to do our own thing. It's about the, the music and the praise and oh we can get into the music, we can get into the praise. Oh, at that time we can get into our holy dance and we can get into the excitement of the flesh. And, but when the music stops and the praise is over. Then we're strolling on our phones and we're thinking about what we're going to do once we leave. And, 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 and the word of God, which is the most important thing in the service, amen, that's when we tune things out. All right. Unless the preacher comes with a, a tune to his message. And then there's a key struck on the organ, you know, there's a, a beat beating on the drum. Then it gets our attention once again. But it's not about the tune of the preacher or, or, or the key on the organ or the beat of the drum. It's about the word of God. For the book of Hebrews is the book of better things. In the book of Hebrews, it's talking about faith. In the book of Hebrews, it tells about how Jesus Christ is a more excellent way. In the book of Hebrews, it talks about by the blood of Jesus was a more excellent sacrifice than the blood of goats and animals. In the book of Hebrews, it warns us of not to refuse him, who not only speaks on earth, but speaks from heaven. There's a shaking going on. The Bible lets us know that he's, those of you that have been spiritual, I'm quite sure that you can agree with me in the spirit. God is doing a new thing. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's seeking to pour out new wine. Come on. Jesus. But if we continue to hold on to the old wine, there's no room for the new wine. All right, all right. Bring it on, Pastor. For we serve a God that is just. We serve a God that is holy. Yes, Lord. We serve a God that's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. But we also serve a God that there's always a change. As I said before, as he led the children out of Egypt, yes. amen, he led them out by a cloud by day in the pillar of fire at night. In the daytime, as the clouds moved, the people moved. Yes. But when the clouds stood still, they stood still. Yes. So the lets us know that when God moved, we have to move with him. Come on. Over in Joshua, it says, they said, Joshua, my servant Moses is dead. Yes. How long will you mourn Moses. Mm -hmm. Moses led in a particular way. But when Joshua came, it was a new regiment. It was a new oh, thing. Right. So he had let Joshua know say that you can't minister as Moses ministered. Right. But I called you to minister as a military leader. Right. Right. Uh-huh. So so we have to let go of the old thing. And be willing to receive the new thing and the new yes. wine that God is trying to yes. Yes. Uh, deliver to his people, that he's trying to impart to his yes. people. That's why there's a shaking going on. Yes. All right. All right. Jesus. Are you willing to receive the new wine that God is trying to pour into his people? Oh, yeah. Or are we so caught up in our denomination and what they're saying, or, or we've always done it this way. But as I said, with this new shaking that has been going on for this last year and a half, so church is never going to be the same. Yeah, all right, all right. Yes, that's it. So true. Church is never going to be the same. Come on. For God has revealed to me that he's tired of these performance. Hmm. There's no reverence Come on. in the house of God. Lord Jesus. But it's all about me. It's all about my performance. Yeah. We have been performing too long in the house of God. Jesus. But God is looking for people with a sincerity to him. He's looking for people that's willing to set aside their agenda and to seek him. He's looking for people to crucify the flesh so the spirit man can be strengthened. Jesus, We must remember that the word comes 
to exhort. Yes, it does. The word of God comes for us to line up to the word of God, not for the word of God to line up to us. For ever since Adam and Eve, we were all born in sin. That's it. And we all did what the, uh, what the flesh was designed to do. Amen. Do what's pleasing unto the flesh. Yes. Everything that made the flesh feel good, we did. Amen. What made your flesh feel good might have been different from mine, but we all were subject to the flesh. That's it. Amen. If I may say we were naughty by nature. That's why I took a new birth. Come on. A spiritual birth. That's it. All of us had to be born again. Yes. Spiritually. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if, if you treated anybody well, you didn't smoke, you didn't drink, you didn't cut. All of that is fine. But until you are born again, yes. we were all born in sin. That's it. Yeah. So it's by the by the uh, uh, being born again that our spirit man uh -huh. is born. The spirit that was in us is renewed. That's it. We must remember that we were spirit first before we were flesh. All right. For in Jeremiah says, I knew you before I formed you. Yes, yes. Well, how did God know us before he even formed us? For we were spirit. So that's why when we felt that tugging in our spirit, we heard that still small voice in, in, in our spirit, man, and we recognized it. Why? Because that's the voice that we heard when we were still yet a spiritual being. So it's not all about the clamor and the noise. The Bible said we don't need a thunder. He wasn't in the thunderstorm. He wasn't in the wind. He wasn't in the fire. But it was that still small voice. That spoke to us. It was that still small voice within us that said that you can do better than this. It was that still small voice that said that you are better than this. It was that still small voice that said that, that, that you need something better than yourself. It was that still small voice that says, Come unto me. It was that still small voice that said, It's not what man says, it's what I say. So we have to look beyond man. For just as when Jesus Christ walked the earth, hallelujah, uh, one minute they praised him, Hosanna, highest, Hosanna to the uh, king. Yes. But in the next minute they said crucify. Yes. So even today we can't take the praises of men to heart. We ought to take the praises of men just like water on a duck's back, just let it roll off. Not even just the praises, but even the ridicule and the criticizing of men. For who are they when they were born just like I? That's it. Right. Right. For we was all born in sin. We was all Amen. flesh and blood. Who are you now to look down at me with your self-righteous nose when we all receive salvation by the same way? Everyone can believe. And we receive salvation by what? Believing the word of God. So it's not that you were so greater than me. Or I was so greater than you. That's it. It only boils down to is I believe. Yes. Without believing the word of God, we cannot receive salvation. For the Bible lets us know it was counted as righteous under Abraham. Why? Because he believed God. That's it. The Bible lets us know that Jesus Christ said, I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Yes, Lord. While we were still yet sinners. And my, it balanced my mind when the Bible lets us know that Jesus Christ came while we were still yet sinners. That's it. While we were still a wretch undone. Yes. While we were still doing what our fleshly desires wanted to do. Amen. While we were still denying him, he said, send me, I'll go. Yes, and offer a more excellent sacrifice. Yes. I will lay down my life. For a people that's not honoring me. I will lay down my life for a sinful people. Yes, yes. I didn't come to condemn the world, but I come to save the world. Yes, save the world from itself. That's it. <laughs> to save us from ourselves. Yes, thank you, Jesus. That's a reprobated mind. That's it. When God turned you over to yourself. That's only destruction. That's going to happen. That's it. 
But Jesus Christ said, while we were still yet sinners, uh -huh. yes. while I was doing everything I was big enough to do, yes. while you were doing everything that you were big enough to do, yes. he came down and laid down his life yes. for you and I. Yes. So if Jesus Christ came while we were still yet sinners, and gave his life for you and I. Why in far too many churches we look down on the sinner man? Come on. We go out and we call it witnessing, but we go out and throw rocks at the people. We step on their necks while they're in a down situation. We criticize and ridicule the people when they're just doing the same thing we were doing. That's it. But now that I'm saved, now now I can look down at you. All right, all right, bring the word. But Jesus came while we were still yet sinners. Yes, he did. So if he came and gave his life while you and I were still yet sinners, why can't we, as a body of Christ, born in the image of Christ, go up to a sinful person and lift them up and encourage them? It's not, not about what we may see them doing at this particular time. Because Jesus Christ didn't look upon us. What we were doing. Because while we were still yet doing, he laid his life down for us. That's it. But when we come up a witness to somebody, we go into their territory. Hallelujah. They may be drinking, they may be smoking, they may be there, they may be whatever. But it's not. It's their territory. That's it. Come on. But we want to go in there and condemn them. But then we want them to come to church. Where is the love? Come on now. Where is the compassion? Where is seeing the good in them? That's it. Yes. Just as God saw the good in us. Yeah. Amen. Where is looking beyond their present situation and looking at what they shall be mm. if they give their lives to Christ? That's I've witnessed so many times and we go and beat people down. But those of us that have been born again, the Bible says that we are a new creature. Where is the long suffering? Where is the patience? Where is the love? Yes. Love is an action word. That's right. I'm quite sure uh, we hear the words, I love you, but where's the action to follow it? Yes. I can say I love my wife, but if I don't show it, That's right. Amen. where is the love? That's it. It's just mere words. It's just lip service. Mm -hmm. The Bible lets us know that with their mouths they draw not to me, but their what? Their heart yeah. is far from me. With their mouth, why I serve you, Lord. Yes. But with their heart, they deny him. So it's time out for a clarion call. Yes, yes. It's not about the numbers in the church. It's not about these many kingdoms that we have built unto ourselves. My Lord Jesus. But it's about the word of God. That's it. Many people, they attend services because of the numbers. We also remember thousands following Jesus. But not all of them followed him for the same reason. Many followed him for just the miracles that he performed, mm -hmm. not for a change of life. Right. Much today we follow people for status and being a part of the number. But where is the change yes. in you? My Lord. Amen. We often say here the more a person allows the word to get into them, it's the word that changes them. Yes. For Jesus didn't come to make us serve him. Right. He don't want us to do anything by compulsion. He don't want us to serve him in any way as a mandate. Mm -hmm. But he wants us to freely serve him. That's right. He don't even want our offering if it's not given in the right spirit. That's right. Keep it. Amen. If you're giving it reluctantly, keep it. Yes. If you're giving out of need, keep it. If you're giving out of compulsion, keep it. He said, but I want you one. He said, I love a cheerful giver. Yeah. One that's willingly giving into the house of God. Amen. Amen. 
It's a clarion call. Over in Hebrews it says, refuse not him who speaks. He said, they did not escape when they refused him who warned them on earth. Our forefathers in Moses' days, God spoke from him. And when Moses put more up into the mountains to have a conversation with God, it was in reverence, it was in fear. He would shake the mountains and, and down at the base of the mountains, you couldn't even come near to the mountain. For even if an animal even touched the mountain, he would be put to death. God spoke a word. And, and those that refused to hear the word of God, those that refused to line up to the word of God, they were put to death. But the Bible says, refuse not him that only shakes the earth and shakes the heaven. Jesus is speaking now. And he's letting us know enough is enough. You don't have to take my word for it. For I'm just a man. But the Spirit of God has to let you know That's it. that there's a change going on. Yes, Lord. The Spirit of God in you, there's something stirred up in you that's saying that something's changing. All right. We can no longer have church like we used to have church. Right. Now is the time more than ever yes. for the body of Christ to come together. Now is the time for the body of Christ to come with the governmental standard that God set in place. Yes. Yes. Not what man created. Come on. It's not about the denomination. But it's about the word of God. It. And it's not going to line up until we get in line to what God put in line. That's it. We can no longer just create things on our own and then ask God to bless us. Come on here. But we have to go before God and say, God, what would you have me to do? That's it. Yes, Let thy will be done. Yes. On earth. As it is in heaven. Thank you, Father. It's not the other way around. It's not for heaven to line into what we're doing here on earth. That's it. But it also line of what is in heaven. That's it. We must realize that the enemy Satan, his army is strategic and organized. Satan's army is strategic and organized. Yes. But it baffles my mind when it comes to the house of God, there's so much disorder. Come on now. So much chaos. My Lord. Yeah. Not organized. People just went in here and there. The Bible says, like a like sheep without a shepherd. Like they don't have no sense. They have allowed any and everything to come into the house of God. Yeah. We merchandise the people. It's all about fundraisers and raising money. Yes, yes. But it's not about a change of spirit. It's not about bringing a change in the people of God. For everything, for if we preach the word of God, then, then people may leave. The, people may leave. <laughs> so, so, so I gotta preach a feel good message, not a, a changing method. I gotta preach that what you're doing is okay, as long as you give. But I can't preach that you gotta change. <laughs> for if I preach, you gotta make a change. They won't hear me. They won't give. They want to exhort me. But if I tell them what they want to hear, All right. I can get the applause, I can get the amens, and, and I can get the numbers. Because I'm pleasing the flesh, but not the spirit. All right. The Bible lets us know if you desire the praises of men, you have your reward. But we have to realize that we all are going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. To answer for the deeds done in this body, rather good or bad. And when you stand, when I stand, will we hear the words, well done, 
thou good and faithful servant. Yes, Lord. Or will we hear, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, I knew you not. But God, didn't we cast out demons in your name? Didn't we heal in your name? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. But it wasn't you. Come on, the demons was cast out Come on. because of the name of Jesus. Yes. Healing took place because of the name of Jesus. Yes. And those believing in the name of Jesus, it wasn't you. So that's the part right there. Didn't we? See, you put you in the situation. Yes. Spirit of God. Jesus. But it was the Spirit of God. That's the problem now. We want to be exalted. It's about us. All right, Pastor. All right. Glory be to God. My mind goes back to when the disciples, when the father brought his son, he said that, I'm taking my son to Jesus. The son that was uh, suffering from seizures and been, thought, been tossed in the fire and been tossed in the waters. He was possessed with the spirit. He said, I'm taking my son to Jesus. But when he came up on the, the disciples, he asked the disciples to cast the spirit out. And the disciples couldn't. So the scribes and the Pharisees, then they started ridiculing the disciples. Like, why couldn't you do it? Right. And the disciples was wondering why they couldn't do it. All right. We got to remember Jesus had already gave the disciples the power to cast out spirits. He had already given them the authority yes. to heal. Jesus Christ himself already gave them the authority. And yes, they had some success. But upon them having success, they probably thought it was all about them. Yeah. All right. Oh, I don't have to do anything. All I have to do is just do this. But they couldn't cast the spirit out of the young man. All right. But the father said, I'm taking him to Jesus. But he stopped at the church. All he right. stopped at the disciples. Come on. Mm -hmm. So when Jesus came and seeing them have this conversation of what's going on, he seen the scribes. Uh, uh, teasing the disciples, and the disciples they had no recourse to say. He said, what's going on? And the father said, I, I brought my son to your disciples, but they couldn't cast the, the demon out. Now remember earlier he said, I'm taking my son to Jesus. Is that it? But he stopped at the church. Come on. He stopped at the disciples. Yes. He stopped at the leaders of the church. Come on. Jesus. Do we often do that? Have we found ourselves doing that? I'm putting my, my case to Jesus. I'm going to Jesus for this situation. And we all we all find ourselves stopping at the church. My Lord. Mm. Hear me out. Jesus told me, told the disciples, this kind uh -huh. only comes by fasting and prayer. Amen. Now we also got to remember that Jesus himself That's it. fasted. Oh, yes, it is. Jesus himself. Often would go off and what? And pray. pray. So if Jesus fasted mm -hmm. and Jesus prayed, he was rebuking the disciples. Mm -hmm. He said, this time when it comes up. So he's not saying that you wasn't fasting. All right. yeah. You wasn't praying. Because you had a little success, it's all about me. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I got this. Right. Uh -huh. Come on. No, 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 no. So there's some things that we have to do. That's there's it. some things, even as leaders, That's it. leaders have to pray. That's it. Leaders have to fast. We can't rely on yesterday's miracles, yeah. yesterday's breakthrough for today. That's it. Yeah. We have to constantly what? Pray and fast. That's it. To be what? To be strengthened in the spirit, man, to do the will of God. That's Amen. It. Amen. So Jesus told the Father, Bring him to me. Bring him to me. Mm -hmm. The father said in the beginning, I'm taking my son to Jesus. That's it. But he stopped at the church. Come on. Yes. But when Jesus basically rebuked the disciples, Jesus said, bring him to me. Mm -hmm. We got to follow through. Come on. Amen. Amen. We got to follow through. So it's not about just coming to church. Uh -huh. We don't have, we come to church, but do we give our situation to Jesus, or do we just come to church and just go through our rituals? Yes. We bring it to men. My God. We bring it to the church, but we really don't give it to Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus told him, bring him to me. The Bible says, all those that are burdened, heavy laden, come unto what? Me. I will give you rest. He didn't say come into the church and the church will give you rest. He didn't say come into the leaders and the leaders will give you rest. He said, come unto me. Those that are burdened and heavy laden, I will give you rest. Another way of saying it, we have pastor religion. Pastor religion. What are you saying, pastor religion? When the pastor is there, we come to church. But let the pastor go on vacation or another speaking engagement is not there, the numbers are joining. Tell pastor. Because the pastor wasn't there, then you're going to take your day off. So what's that saying? When the pastor's there, you're there. But when he's not there, he or she is not there, then you take the time off. So who are you serving? We say we serve God. But if who I esteem highly is not giving the word that today, I'm staying home. But the word is the word. I say, you say you love God, but I don't, I don't come to his house. My Lord. I love God, but I don't give it to the things of God. Right. I love God, but when trouble hits, I'm calling on somebody that has a relationship with God. Will you pray for me? My Lord Jesus. When you pray for me, my son is going through. When you pray for me, my Lord. Uh, I, I, I got to see the doctor next week, and, and they say, I, I may be having it. Will you pray for me? It's not like we have pixie dust to right. sprinkle over a situation. Mm. But if you recognize the anointing in my life and you come to me for prayer and we come into an agreement with prayer uh -huh. so you believe the God that's in me you believe in the prayer life that I have you believe in what I have exemplified before you, so you come to me to ask for prayer. It's not me, but it's God that works in me. Uh -huh. You can have the same thing if you right. would give your life to Christ. Come on. Amen. Your time. <laughs> Amen. I love God, but are you in the house of God? In this pandemic situation, at a time last year when we couldn't come to church, when we couldn't fellowship together, God was showing each and every one of us our relationship with him. While you couldn't come to church, did you seek out his word? While you couldn't come to church, did you find yourself in worship? When you couldn't come to church, did you still set aside your tithes and offering for the church? My Lord. But I love God. Jesus. I know there's a God. Yes, but when you did, couldn't come to brick and mortar, did you show it in the spirit? Lord, I'm talking to everyone out there today. God showed you your relationship with him. Because if you didn't seek out worship, you didn't seek out his word, you didn't get with your prayer partner or your friend and just search out the scriptures. Yes, many churches that went online to, to, to telecast their, their service and program, but did you even tune into that? Right. Oh, that wasn't important enough. That wasn't good enough because I couldn't come into the house, so I'm not going to tune in. That's your relationship. But if you truly love God, you're going to seek out his words by any means necessary. Amen. Amen. You're going to seek out some time to worship him. You're going to play some, some 
spiritual music to, 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 to feed that spirit man. You're going to feed that spirit man the word of God because that's how the, the spirit man is strengthened by the word of God Amen. and by worship. And if we starve the spirit man, how strong can we be to fight off today's battles? But it's not, all, it's not all about the individual person. Many have come. Many are afraid to be honest with some of their leaders or some of the trials and tribulations they may be going through. Why? Because they heard about Jim and Mary situation. They heard about Bob's struggles. Yes. They heard about Susie's downfalls. So if I heard about these things and these things was conveyed in confidence to the leader, why should I go and say what I'm going through? Why should I be on? Because I don't want my business to all over the church. Yes, it happens. It happens. Can we trust our leaders with our wounds? That's why many of us, we come to church with our church facade on, yeah. our church face on, our painted on smiles, and, and we know how to lift our hands, we know how to say glory be to God, we know how to say hallelujah, but yet still we tore up from the floor because we, we're going through a, a trying time. We're down called trot, and we're, and we're down beaten, and we're brown I need help, but are we stopping in the church or are we giving it to God? Come on. I stand as a witness. I, I, I've been there. Oh, yes. I've been there. Burned from the, from, from, from the inside out. Tore up from the floor. Up. I've been there. Yes, sir. In church service. I've been there. Afraid to open up to what I was really going on in my life. Yes, but I hear, I'm here to stand to tell you what's on the inside is going to come out sooner or later. And then when it boils over, and then what you're going through comes out, the church is the first ones to say, why didn't you come to me? Why didn't you tell me? But if we, if we had the same spirit, come on here. Yes. you would have known come on. I was burdened down. Come on here. You, you would have known, yes. though I was smiling, there was something on the inside. For the Bible says, when, 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 when one rejoices, we're all to rejoice. That's it. When one mourns, we're all to what? Mourn. When Mary and Martha, when the, when the two babies came, what? Their spirit leads. Why? Because what? They were in unison. And if we're all part of the body of Christ, if I hurt, you should hurt. Amen. If I hurt my hand, the rest of my body is going to feel it. If I hit my pinky toe, the rest of my body is going to feel it. So it's not about how big I am, but if I'm feeling pain and you're part of the body of Christ, you should feel the pain. Hallelujah. Because we're of like spirits. That's it. Much too often when we do open up, we're told to just get over it. I've heard that so many times. Just get over it. Yes, Lord. Until it happens to you. Come on here. Uh, uh, yes, Lord. Until it happens to your child. Yes, Come on here. Until Amen. Until you heard the doctor's report. Right. Till your child is going through the legal system. Till you're having financial troubles. Oh, yes. Then there's a difference. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. Because it'll fake them. But it's not about get over it. Come on. Do you know how deep that wound is? That's it. For Thomas, I would not believe until I could put my hands in the wounds. But Jesus said, okay. He manifested himself. Huh. Stick your hand in my side. Come on. Yeah. See the nail prints in my hand. Yes. Jesus will do it for you. Yes, he will. He will. When man is saying, just get over it. Come on here. But Jesus also said, blessed is the man that believes and have not seen me. That's it. Than one that has seen me to believe. But yet still, for you, uh -huh. I would allow you yes. to see the wounds in my side. Yes. Can you 
share your wounds? Can you be honest? God is shaking things up. Yes, the Bible says, refuse not him My Lord God. who's speaking from heaven. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Once more, Hallelujah. not only the earth, but also the heavens. The words once more indicate the removal of what can be shaken. All created things. Yes. Everything that we have created, everything that we have added to the word of God, all of that is going to be shaken. All of that is being shaken right now. For the Bible lets us know only the word of God yes, will stand forever. Yes, uh -huh. Only the word of God yes. shall what? Stand forever. Every, everything else will be shaken. Everything. He's shaking things up right now. He's shaking things up. He's seeking to pour the wine. And if we look back in Christianity, Jesus. after every struggle or, or, or situation in the earth, world, there's always a new outpouring of the Spirit. He's pouring out a new to all those that's willing to accept the new wine. Yes, he is. Or are we going to remain stuck or where he was and not going to where he is? Where are you? Where he was? Or where he is. Search yourself. That is created faith. So that what cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, since we are what? Receiving a kingdom that what? Cannot be shaken. The word of God is going to stand. God's kingdom cannot be shaken. No matter what's going here on the earth realm, God's kingdom cannot be shaken. Amen. Amen. The Bible says when, 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 when my heart is overran to the rock, I run. That's it. Hallelujah. Yes. He told Peter, say, upon this rock, I will build my church. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We, we're talking about a solid foundation. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Now is the time for the people of God to run to the rock that is higher than I. Because it's not about us. It's not about you. But it's all about Christ the King. Yes. Hallelujah. Are you willing to run? Are you willing to, to set your children aside? Is the God will I know about his grace. Jesus. 
on a personal level so I can stand as a witness to what God can do. Yes. Some of you know about God's grace for yourself. Yes, Jesus. You know you haven't done all that you can for God, but it's grace that sustains you. Come on. You know when he said go right, you went left, but it's his grace that sustains you. It's not that we got anything over on God, but it's by his grace. What is grace? That unmerited favor, that undeserving favor. That's it. I've done some things that I'm not proud of, but it was His grace. His grace. Yes, no. My walk has not, not always been perfect while I was still yet a born again believer, but it was His grace. His grace. Yes, no. Jesus. That's it. Brought you yes, no. I preached one time of uh, making it on broken pieces. Some of us are going to make it, but we're going to make it on broken pieces. We might have been stumbling and falling, but as long as we keep our minds on him and hold on to the little bit that you got, hold on to the little bit that, that you got, make it on broken pieces. Some may make it before you, but guess what? We're all going to make it and hold on to God's unchanging hand. Uh, we're all going to receive this same reward. You might have been serving God for 30 years. You might have been serving God for 15 years, but I'm here to tell you, somebody can serve for five minutes and get called home, they shall receive. Somebody that, that, that may have some struggle, hallelujah, that we may see on an hour of pain, we may see that they, they may be still lying, they may be still smoking, they may be still okay. drinking, but yet still within the inside, their heart was turned toward the God. He still has a Lord, Lord of Israel. If you don't do it, I can make it. There's maybe they don't book in peace, but we want to join on the outside. My Lord God, Jesus, help your people, God. We have forced people to put their faith facade on. Mm. But I had to stand to tell you before, people of God, we serve a God yes. that looketh on the heart yes. of a man, yes. not on the outer appearance. That's it. It's not about what we can create. That's right. It's not about what we can portray. Come on. But he knows the motives of the and the intent yes. of all our hearts. Yes, he does. So when you say, God knows my heart, mm. he does. Mm -hmm. Amen. He does. Yes. Do you realize what you're saying? Because he does. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. He knows. Not me. He knows. Mm -hmm. You may lift your hands for me. You may praise for me. And on the outer appearance, you look holier than I. But God knows the intent of your heart. Yes, he does. Yes. He knows with your heart, you're not serving him. Mm. You're seeking status, you're seeking position, you're seeking praises of men. But it's with the heart that we yes. serve. Yes. That we say, I will remove that stony heart and put a what? New heart. That's it. Some of us need a heart transplant. Come on, yes, Lord. We need a heart transplant. Yes. And we need to seek God all that we know how. God is looking for people. Yes. This is a clarion call. There's a change in the atmosphere. There's a change in the spirit realm. Yes. I don't have no big title. I don't have no big ministry. But I come as a servant of God. That's it. Amen. And if we share the same spirit. Come on. The spirit of God. You know within your spirit, as well as God has told me, there's a change going on. Yes, it Amen. is. And he's seeking to pour new wine. Come on. Are you willing to be a vessel, willing to accept the new outpouring of the spirit? Amen. Or are we going to stay stuck until church as we know it, church as we grew up in it? There's a changing of the gods. And then in this time, in this season, there is a change going on. Are you willing to move? Come on. Or are you going to remain where God was? And where he was, was powerful. Where he was, he did miraculous things. So it's not discounting anything, but that was then. This is now. 
the cloud is moving. Come on. His glory is moving. Yes. Are you willing to move with him? Oh, amen. We have one more thing to say. My mind goes back to when the first temple yeah. was torn down, okay. burnt up. And he rebuilt the temple. And the seasoned saints, they had a problem with the new temple. Mm -hmm. Because it wasn't as glorious Come on. as the first. But God told them. <laughs> what did he tell them, man of God? What did he say? <laughs> yes. What, what God told them? Jesus. When they was, the seasoned saints was concerned that it was as beautiful and, and just, Later. just glory. They were looking at the materialistic side, mm -hmm. the, outward. the outward appearance, and this gold and this. Silver, just, just, it was just laid out. Onyx, just everything, just laid out, just pure. They, they, they were mourning because it wasn't as glorious. That's the one they rebuilt. But God said, "My glory, come on, my glory shall be great." Shall be great. Yes, the last. And this, the last. Shall be great. Are you stuck on what used to be? Come on. So are you willing to accept the new glory? Come on. A greater glory. A greater a glory. More powerful glory. Shall be greater? Greater. Jesus. His glory. His glory. My God. Ask great. yourself that. My Lord. God is shaking things up. Yes, he is. That's it. Are you willing Hallelujah, to Jesus. move as he's moving? Everything is moving. Are you willing to accept the new wine? As he's attempting to pour into his vessels that's honest to him. Refuse not him that speaks now. Refuse not him. Yes. Refuse not him. Once again, he said. I came not to condemn the world, mm -hmm. but he said that those that don't believe it on me are condemned already. That's it. That's right. That's right. Man don't condemn you. You condemn your own self right. by refusing to believe the works of Jesus Christ. Amen. So don't let man condemn you. Amen. We have no heaven or no hell That's to put it. nobody in. That's but as an individual, we make that choice. Yes. Where we will spend eternity. Yes. Hallelujah. Are you willing to move? Are you willing Hallelujah, to give your life to Christ? You, Are you willing to see the new glory that shall be revealed? Oh, because after this atrocity that we've been going through in the world, God will get the glory. Yes, he will. Yes. Yes, he God is still in control. Yes, he, he is shaking up everything that we have put our trust in, that we have put our faith in. But God will get the glory yes, out of this. And his glory Thank will be God. revealed to those yes. that have held on. His glory will be revealed in those that's willing to accept the new wine. His yes. glory will be revealed for those yes. that's accepting the move of God. That's His it. glory will be revealed in the people of God Amen. that have a heart that's turned that's towards it. Him. That's it. Hallelujah. See to it that you do Hallelujah. not refuse Him that Hallelujah. speaks not only from earth Hallelujah. but also from heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to turn this part over back into my wife. Hallelujah. Let me close out. Yeah. And hopefully I have said something Amen. for you to Hallelujah. search your spirits. Yes. Search your yeah. spirits. Hallelujah. Search your spirits. And be honest with yourself. Yes. 
and those of you that have said with your mouth but not with your actions that you love God, search yourself. Start giving God some time. Sincere time. That's it. Honest time. Yes.
But if you repeated that after me and you said that unto the Lord, you are now saved according yeah. to the word of, of the Lord. Amen. So we say welcome to the body of Jesus Christ. If you just accepted Christ in your life, go ahead and type saved in the comment bar. Amen. YouTube. Amen. And Facebook. Amen. Hallelujah. We say welcome to the body of Christ. Guess what? And if you don't have a church home or any pastors, we want to be your pastors. Amen. Hallelujah. So inbox us. Amen. So that we can continue to teach you, hallelujah, the word and the ways of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. If nothing else, amen, we're going to open up, amen, for our uh, ministry of giving. Amen. Hallelujah. And we're going to actually, um, I'm going to ask the man of God if he will lead us in whatever way he wants to when it comes to uh, giving you want to say something or a scripture, and then we're going to pass it back over to uh, Evangelist King so we can sit down. Amen. 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 If we, we would like to be your pastor. So all of you that do not have a church home, it don't matter if you're here at Palm Coast or wherever you may be. Hallelujah. Out of state, it doesn't matter. You can be part of our e-church. Just hit us. Amen. We become a part of the church. We can amen. explain the word of God to you. Amen. amen. And welcome you to the body of Christ. Amen. Now for our uh, ministry of giving. Amen. We at Christ Redeemers, we stand on the word of God. Whatsoever a man purpose in his heart, amen. so let him give. Yes. Hallelujah. So it's not about the amount. Hallelujah. Whatever man purpose in his heart, we don't plead, we don't beg. For the God, word of God says a cheerful giver. Amen. Not out of compulsion, not out of being made to, and not like that. Whatever you may sow, hallelujah. Uh, our information is on the screen for those that want to sow, amen, through the social media outlet. And we thank God for those that have sold into the ministry, amen, and those that's in the house, hallelujah, whatever man sow, amen. And let us lift our offers up to him. Amen. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Oh, heavenly precious Father, Lord God, we just want to thank you. First and foremost, oh God, I want to thank you for the word that you have released in your house, oh God. And Father God, we rest assured, oh God, that your word did not go out void, oh God, but it accomplished that with it is sin. And we have sought the word, oh God. Father God, now rest upon your people, oh God, and have them hit light and shed, oh God, be a part of spreading the gospel, the good news, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I look upon those, oh God, that have... You have touched, Lord God, to sow into that ministry, Lord God. Bless their tithes, their offerings, their love gifts, Lord God. Whatever it may be, it's not about the amount, but it's about the sincerity of heart, Lord God. Father God, we ask that you look upon it right now and multiply, Lord God, as you see fit, Lord God, for you are God of multiplication, Lord God. For Father God, they realize in their giving, they're saying that they trust you, oh God. Father God, so let them, Lord God, by obedience to your word, Lord God, sow into that ministry, Lord God, showing trust in you. And Father God, we ask you the blessing in Jesus Christ's name. We do pray. Amen and amen. Amen. And to our social media family, we say thank you amen. for your gifts, of, of your seeds, your offerings, your tithes, Lord God, and your soul to Christ and do in ministries. And we pray continued blessings upon you amen. as we close out this part of amen. the service of our social media family. Amen. Those that's in the house, amen, you may come and give unto the basket. Hallelujah, amen. whatever your heart's desire.